So it's like having this like personal SEO assistant that summarizes everything in plain English and highlights those red flags, right? The things you need to focus on. And the best part is, and Sean really drives this point home in the article, is that Hobo doesn't just tell you what's broken. It actually tells you how to fix it. So oh, nice. Like he really emphasizes the actual insights you get. Sure. Things like uh, identifying pages that are underperforming. You're right. You know, flagging any broken links you might have. And even get this, uncovering potential security risks. Wow, that's huge. And especially like if you're dealing with multiple websites, think about all the time you'd normally spend, you know, trying to manually identify those buried pages that are not linked properly. The ones Google just has a hard time finding. Hobo, boom, finds them instantly. And that, my friend, that is a total game changer, especially for agencies, freelancers, anyone juggling a bunch of client sites. Yeah, for sure. And speaking of clients, Sean makes it super clear that Hobo is designed to be budget friendly. Okay, good to know. Even if you're rocking a personal Gmail account. Which is great because it means you don't need a massive budget to get your hands on some really, you know, incredible SEO insights. And from what I'm gathering, it can handle a crazy amount of client sites. Yeah, you can handle like an unlimited number of client sites without exploding your API costs. The API talks. Yeah, let's break that down for a second because I know API, it sounds a little techy. Yeah, a little bit. It can sound like we're speaking another language, but it's actually pretty simple. Think of APIs. Like these little messengers, they allow different software programs to like talk to each other. Right. Yeah. So in this case, Hobo needs to connect with Google systems to get all this data right. Right. And using those APIs, well, that can get expensive. Okay. But the cool thing is, Sean designed Hobo to be super efficient. Okay. So it stays well within those free API limits that Google sets. That's huge. It's like finding those like those little secret loopholes that save you money. 